Hello everybody, so the person that I'm is Star the Wolf, so please email me about um, what you want and I'll drop for you, your contact information, um, and email me so I can email the drawing to you. And yeah, let's get started with the Q&A video. I'm answering questions. So, this is a q and I'm basically answering questions that all of you probably have on your minds. Wait, if you don't have these on your minds, then I'm wrong. Yeah, I'll just answer it anyway. And so, yeah, let's do this. I actually have some actual questions that people ask me in some videos, but so I'll pause them. First one is, when is Multiverse of Rescue gonna come out? Now the rescue part four, please, please, please. My answer to that is, when will the when, when will the Deviant artist make the comic page for it? Pages for it. I can't even remember today. Pages for it. As soon as she makes enough pages for it, I will gladly make that video. Until then, you have to wait. Same thing for Dream Tale. WW Dream Tale. Still waiting for the update! I love that comic series a lot. I'm also waiting for the update from Monster Trust you because I want to read it in advance first. So, that's one of the questions that land in mind. And let's move on to the next one. Oh, I'm glad they get a question. But anyway, who's your favorite under your character and what are your abilities in that? I think for any questions. Well, um, favorite under your characters are all of them, but I especially love Undyne and Papyrus. They're my favorite characters. I'm not saying Sans because I think his don't care if he's really sad and depressing. He's a good character, but man, he's sent me a, he sent me death threats in the game. But let's 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 skip back. And so you can be my OC, right? Her abilities are that she can paint anything, and it comes into existence except for living things. Like, what I mean by living things? She can make a cake, and it comes into existence. It's perfect. She should make things in that nature. But if a living thing, like a bug or a butterfly or a human being, costs color essence. Color essence is basically the essence of a color entity. You have to kill color entities to get the essence for you to make some living being. That means you have to kill several people to get at least one living being standing. Which is inconvenient because her morals say she can't kill anything. And color entity breaks their morals. Basically what happens is bad things happen to the color entity. And that's another video for another day. But bad things happen. So she can, that's her limitations, she can heal people by repainting on their skin. As good as new. And that's all she's got, really. Like, she's got nothing else about her except special. Oh, yeah, I forgot how she gets all the ink. She gets it by tapping her ink, her ink mark, and it turns a color, and turns a color in her paintbrush. She just got it from inside of her, so. Taps it, and it gets it. But it, you, can, you can have as much as you want. It's just basically, like, not like blood, because it, there's only so much of blood around. But it's like blood, but you have an infinite supply of it. So I guess she could I guess she could bend the rules by stabbing herself to get the color and sense to make a friend, but then that's just sad. Yeah, that really is sad. She doesn't make a friend that's permanent, though she has a hedgehog friend. And it, and the hedgehog's like that test Andre character, but always a test like that ten test Andre, but that's like they're like you know how test Andres are like evil, like hard on the outside and soft on the inside. It's like that, but they're always hard on the inside and outside. And they and they complain most of the times. Sort of like Happy from Fairy Tale. Like how they're like, yeah, everyone hates or the seven deadly sins. Um, the pig guy named Hawk. Sort of like those types of characters, but he always complains about tomatoes. That's the sort of characters that we have in our world, have in their world. Jeez, that's actually pretty interesting. I might as well talk in depth about her personality. It's similar to mine, so she's just doing lazily things and like laughing, having a good time all the time, running an AU to AU. And she just makes friends on her journey, and then she like solves problems with people. That's all her focus really is in the fandom. She just has a good time. She's not there to like help. She just, she just does it as like a side job. She doesn't want to have a side job. Like, it's like, oh wait, people are dying. Alright, let's solve them. 
like that. She really is like that. He's like, let's solve another problem today. That's the type of personality she has. But, he's a pretty good person. But I would call her neutral because he's, uh, he's on Blood of You. He's friends with Taylor and me. So, what did that say about her? Oh yeah, and she thinks friends with me. Cool. Looks up to Fresh and I'm dying in Iris. Further looks up to Fresh, isn't that a great to read? Well anyway, let's get on with the end of comedy number 55. So, I was thinking about other questions people might ask me. So I've already covered the basics of it. Everyone has on their minds like what is left is right now. I'm not sure when it's gonna freaking come out. Let's ask some goofy questions. What's your favorite color? It's purple. Oh, what's your favorite animal? Hedgehogs? What's your favorite magic type? Like, magic, I guess like fire magic would be pretty cool. That's, I actually don't really admit by the question reading your favorite magic type. I like um, people who have faded powers like things, but then again, it's really cool to have like fire magic, so. I didn't say fire magic, it's like, I want to burn the entire village! No, like, if I burn the entire village, what would they say? Oh yeah, Urza just has... The speaking this as Urza means you can just go wherever she wants. You should just go get some balls. Anyway, what's your favorite pizza topping? Pineapples. Pineapples, all day. I don't care that people you, you guys hate... Why does everyone hate pineapple on pizza so much? It tastes so good. I put so sausage, mushroom, and then pineapple. I can't put pineapple all the time because it's bad for me. Like, I can't have that too much acidity. But it's really cool how you can have sausage, mushroom, pineapple. It's just so good. It's the perfect combination. And I just love the pineapple. I just I put all the pineapple on my sauce. Like, pineapple! Oh, I got a funny story. So, I used to make these things called... Banana coconut muffins. You've heard of them probably. And I always thought there was never enough coconut in the muffin batter. So I was like, it needs more coconut. And I took the first bag and I put it all in there. Like, I threw it all, I threw it away in the dressing like, this needs more coconut. I took the second bag of coconut, shreds, and put it in there. And like, the coconut shred bags are big too. They're not like, they're not skimping on coconut. And all you could see was a bunch of coconut. And then a little bit of batter. And at this point I realized, Still needs more coconut, so I put in, in another handful of coconut, and then I let it smoke. I love that batch. I love how much coconut I put. Four and these are exaggerated for comedical purposes, but they're all true. So there's this game called Rec Room in VR, and so it's a cool game because unlike other VR games, which kind of get bland as you can play them all, and they sort of share similarities with each other because their main attraction that you can our world, but if you're seeing types of that, it gets kind of interesting. So they this game, they thought, we need another gimmick, because all the VRs are going to experience the same gimmick over and over, because if they're in the VR world, they experience tons of the game on screen. So they're like, okay, what are we going for? How do people can talk to each other, like on a Discord chat, but in VR? And you can talk, and you can like see the motion, they're very listening. And the guy's like, you know what, we, that's a great idea, sir, here's a million dollars. I was like, thank you, sir. And this is a great idea, and it's amazing. But it does not work when there are over a hundred thousand people at the same time babbling at the same time. That will break your eardrums out. That will, I, even if you get on the server. But don't worry, there's a good side to it. I thought there are these like teammate things where you can go and play like laser tag and like you fight enemies, sort of like an Undertale, but not Undertale, you can kill them all. I thought, would it be great if I reenacted Undertale characters' advice in the game? So we were in this robotic game to kill the robots. I thought, okay, let's start a tutorial. And tutorial's advice is fight or run away. So and I just started teleporting across the map, running away, like sort of like running away from the other just teleporting, booking it across the map. Yeah, like I gotta run away because I can't fight. And the people like looked at me in utter confusion, like. What is this person doing? Seriously? And I'm booking her across the map, and then I go to the next level, and I'm like, Alright, I need better advice. I look at Undyne, because I, I look up to Undyne. Like, oh, so 
about this right now. And we're like, let's do it. And so, I thought of Onion's advice, and she thinks all oh, humans are scum that it needs to be destroyed because their crime is existing in the universe! So I thought, alright. So I got the archer's weapon, that's the only way to kill your fellow teammates, because she said humans, not robots. So I had to go. And I thought, alright, I guess I have to kill my fellow teammates now. So I ended up just arching off every single one of my teammates and just um, saying how humans are deceived. And then after that, the teammates were like, what the frick are you doing? And I'm like, yeah, you got a good point. So I decided to follow another person's advice. Well, after I revive them all, I'll have her high five and all that's the game mechanic. Great. So I thought another game mechanic. Who to who to act like next? And I thought to myself in my head, alrighty, how about we act like a pirates? The second person I look up to, which is also Bruce. And so. I thought Bohiris tells how great he is and then sends humans to the capturing zone. Yeah! So I just started ye yelling, yeah! I, the group of Bohiris, must capture you. And then I literally went and pushed a teammate into like a, like the map section of the box. So in the map, um, there was like these like boxes spattered across to make it look more like a plane or like cloth cargo. So I'm like, Perfect. Looks like the pirates is shed. So, um, so you can look, there's like physics in the game where if you like hit, like punch, knock, knock them like, over, they'd actually fall. So like not of their own commission. Will that's how like Rockstar game is not sponsored by the way. It's not sponsored. And so they all I they found the box and then I did it, but I don't have any more teammates because I'm um, the pirates is um I'm um, RP as right now. Well, not right now, it's in the game, is also officially human because I'm a human. Well, not Urza, but anyway. So I'm like thinking to myself, geez, not to go for the captain. So we're all in this boxy area, which they could have easily left to begin with. Why didn't they just leave the box area? There's a door right over there. There was a there was an opening. There was literally an opening and they all left that one. Wait, some of them left, but some of them didn't. It's complicated. So the anyway, the answer just made me. And then I'm like, geez, I've been messing up big time. So they're simply killing enemies, and I'm like, time to act like Kara. So I ended up just talking to the robots. Pretty chill, just talking. I'm like, wait, they're robots. They can't understand. So I'm like, all right. So the one of the the second to last, there were like I think three more was. And you know, his motto is, it's kill or be killed. So, that's what I did. I killed every monster in the area and my teammates, because it's kill or be killed. And I killed all my teammates and, and the monsters too. So, you know, that's just a, a, a great idea. That's a great idea. They hate me. Well, I don't really see them ever again because they're around the world. They're probably already only been known. So, you know, it's just internet. And then, after that, I thought, man, my teammates must really hate me right now. Since they either got killed, bewildered, captured to a box on they could have easily escaped anyway. And probably we lost the game like 15 times. Already. So I thought, alright, we need to do two more. And so I did Azriel, and Azriel got a hyperdeck version. So I'm like, okay, I can't fail with the God of Hyperdeck. So I did that one first. And so I got the rainbow ones, and I was like, ha ha ha. And I thought she'd be able to all the enemies, like, you're under my control. And that's great and all. I'm on the stop of the God of Hyperdeck. And we won the level, but I reset the level over. And I'm like, why do that for? And I'm like, I had to stay true to character. Azriel wanted to reset the world. So I reset the level over again! And now it seems to like, we beat this hard level and we reset it. I'm like, yeah, I had a major jerk on that. And like, yes! I'm like, I'm sorry, that's how Undertale characters roll. You see all their convictions, like, right now. Don't you? So that, alright, I'll also do another. I thought, you know, I might as well add one to the break. I'll do Sans, because everyone loves to see the love of Sans. And so I decided, alright, I'll have like a dead inside skeleton who makes puns. 
So I was dodging all the attacks the enemies were throwing at us. And I was like telling all the teammates he's annoying to all the enemies. And they're like, could you stop? I'm like, fine. I'll stop. But I have to do another Undertale impersonation um, of a character named Azure Dreamer. And so I did. You know all the fight with real Azure Dreamer um, in the game? All we get from him is just crying, telling him to cry, baby. So. I didn't, but I, I, I could, I didn't get sad. I had to cry because he, I could see him balls his eyes out. Like at the end of the game, we see him. But then we also find him with Kara, which makes it seem like a younger virus. I always feel like he's a younger virus. So, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? So I decided to do what Azio did. He, so I just went, sat down, and we look like if you're not really sitting down because you're feeling behind his legs. It doesn't sound like you're floating your head. And, 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 and so I did that's what I did. I just laid there and got killed by the enemy. So I refused to fight and die through it. And the teammates didn't care. Or I would take care. Alrighty. And so. Um, yeah, I'm a teammate really a fan in it. And so that's when I logged off the game, because, to be honest with you, I was a- My lesson I learned is, Undertale characters can be MAJOR JERKS to their teammates if you act like them as they would act to a human. Because, you haven't noticed this, but in the game, if you look at the dialogue, they're being a real jerk to Frisk, killing them, putting them in terrible situations. They're their enemy at some point, but, yeah. Jerk in battle. That's a lesson for you all. If you have a teammate that's not gonna get Undertale character, just leave the game. You're not gonna. You're not gonna. You're not gonna. And so I got another funny thing. I recently just rewatched um um Big Brother Bear 2. Is that Disney movie? They made a sequel to it. And I had to rewatch it again, like on YouTube a while back. And so I was watching it because. And I'm like, wham. They really went wrong with the sequel. So first of all, apparently, um, um, the, the main character in the first movie had a ch had a childhood lover at some point. What you didn't mention this in the first one? And, and then, like, what happens is, is that, um, like, they go through the travel thing. At the very end, what puzzling me was that I know how the story is gonna end. Was basically, um, the girl transformed herself into a bear, and then they'll have a but that is not a happy of their tale. You know what's gonna happen. The father's probably gonna be like, you're going to the forest, you're not allowed in the village again, and they live a hardship in the forest, and they have a good time, but they're freaking bears now. Like, they have to survive, and the champions, but life has been shortened by a big bunch. A big bunch. The bears don't live very long, you know? And so she's gonna die early, and um, she can't live in, like, the house, so she has to, like, live in the forest because they're probably not going to see her father again because she's got to go places. So, after all that, you know, that's not a good happy ending. That's why I have doubts about the movie. I really do have doubts about this movie. These are my doubts about the movie, the sequel to Brother Bear. And to be honest with you, how can- the first one was that he wanted to be a man. Well, he ain't even human, so how can he be counting as one, technically scientific-wise? And if spirits were that mean to people because they killed one animal, why aren't we all transformed into animals that we need? Like, I would've been transformed a while ago, but I need to talk about it. Yep. Fun fact, Urza is practically Because, yeah, it's actually a strawberry cake. There's a stand-up comedy. Yeah, it's the first of comedy stand-up. That concludes, and also, that concludes, I think it was the Q&A, but still got one funny question. And that's the last funny question, so. Oh, these couple of last questions for me. What is your favorite shape? And I like to say it they made, they made, like, because of the termination of the sea. Which is actually kind of sad. It's like, do you die because you don't have a powerful soul to become immortal? 
is there. And of the question, what is Urza's soul type? Well, Urza's soul type is actually pretty. What do you expect to be <laughs> Because there is a new brush. The same shape of mom. Yeah, I just it's like, it's like she just took a mom but over for like a um sort of like a like horse hair. What are the brush things made out of? I'll say brush for now. The thing made out of horse hair. The brush there and the brush for the mom. What's keeping up? I'm not sure. What's keeping that one oh yeah, one more question. Or is it breaking and entering with every single house she breaks into? There was no time to see a of her. Yes, she is definitely breaking the house. Well, not by her standards. If you're randomly um, teleporting to different AUs, you don't know where you're going to end up. Teleporting is isn't going through a portal. And I think what happens is that Urza doesn't know where she's going. She always ends up in someone's house. And she's like, uh, instead of like not being caught breaking and entering, I'm just going to stay here because I'm too busy. So she ends up filming at that person's place. And she, and she really isn't smart, is she? She breaks all, bends a lot of rules. Like she's addicted to bending rules. She really is addicted to bending rules. And now that, like, besides, it's not illegal not to talk about like, because Asgore Dreamer breaks into people's houses on Christmas night, not on Christmas, like Christmas Eve, breaks into people's houses. And, like they're okay with the king breaking into people's houses. That's felony. You can go to jail for that crap. So don't do it. It's bad. Alrighty. That concludes the Q&A, and thank you all for listening to me for over 2018 minutes, I think. To be honest with you, I didn't surprise you after listening to me. One more thing. Super secret, um, the main shit that I ship is sailing, is sailing, is sailing. And I think it's amazing, it's just sailing, Uh uh-huh. Yeah, I just want to let you know that it's sailing. But, yeah, don't break people's houses. Remember, if you have a problem for a battle, who's gonna knock you out into a character? Because maybe she's not gonna go characters when you're in battle. Um, especially on a different game, because it's a rat hole move. 